So now we know how fluid is distributed between these three different areas. What about electrolytes? So first let's consider this extracellular part. So we said that what separates the intravascular and the interstitial compartments is a capillary wall. And capillary walls are fairly leaky. And so they let through fluid and they also let through electrolytes. So the electrolytes are going to be the same in the intravascular and interstitial areas because they pass freely from one to the other and so they'll diffuse until they're evenly distributed. And you already know what the most important electrolyte is in the extracellular compartment, it's sodium. You have about 140 milli equivalents per liter of sodium inside cells, which is a lot more than the next positive electrolyte, which is potassium, for which there's only about four milli equivalents per liter, so really a lot more sodium. But the thing is that for every positive charge, you need a negative charge. And so we're gonna have an even number of negative electrolytes in this area. So the one there's most of is chloride, which is about 106 milli equivalents per liter. So that has one negative charge. And the second most is going to be HCO3 minus, for which there's about 25 milli equivalents per liter. And this has a name, we call it bicarbonate or sometimes bicarb for short. And by the way, you don't need to know all of these exact numbers right now, but know the relative amounts. So we can divide all the fluid in the body into two parts, inside cells and outside cells. And we can further divide the part outside cells into two different parts. And that is extracellular fluid inside blood vessels and extracellular fluid outside blood vessels. So it turns out that about a quarter of the extracellular fluid is inside the blood vessels, and so that would be about 3.5 liters. And the other three quarters is outside of blood vessels, and that would be 10.5 liters. So that's how we divide this extracellular fluid. But what's confusing is that this quarter that we're saying is inside blood vessels is not the only thing in the blood vessels, because remember, you also have red blood cells. So red blood cells count as intracellular fluid, and so this extracellular part we're talking about is just the plasma around the red blood cells. So we sometimes call this intravascular fluid. And then this other three quarters is outside the blood vessel, where you also have cells, of course. So it's the fluid surrounding those cells. And that we like to call interstitial fluid. And what's gonna separate this interstitial and intravascular compartment? Well, it's gonna be these capillary walls. So you can think of this division as the capillary walls, just like we were saying this division